Hello, my name is David Skokerbo. This is me here in a parallel universe. I'm a recent graduate from the History and Philosophy of Science master's program here at Utrecht University, and I was a college career specialist before beginning the program. I've jokingly defined myself as a career transient, as my meandering professional journey has led me to experience a number of different fields and industries. I've done landscaping, business-to-business -business sales, volunteer coordination, records management, career counseling, and even an internship at the NASA History Office in Washington, D.C., which I applied for while taking the Professional Skills and Identity course in 2019. So why does my story matter to you? Because throughout my career journey so far, I have identified a key element to my success and the success of those I've coached, and I want to share it with you. So I'm here to talk to you today about transferable skills. This is probably a buzzword you've heard before, but what exactly are transferable skills? Well, they could be considered your soft skills, which I prefer to call your life skills. In essence, they are skills you've picked up along the way. These are things you've developed in all facets of your life, your hobbies, relationships, or personal and professional development. Perhaps you're mechanically minded from your hobby building PCs, and that has helped you picture problems from a higher level systems approach. You've also learned how to do it by self-disciplined independent study. Often, transferable skills are not properly articulated or even mentioned during the application and interview process because they may not have been earned on the job, yet they are often relevant across a wide range of jobs and industries. Perhaps you've been perfecting the art of diplomacy from dealing with your unruly siblings, or you often find yourself orchestrating all of the group projects. Every field can benefit from employees able to collaborate and lead projects. When you're a fresh graduate or changing your career, how do you overcome the dreaded five years experience requirement? Transferable skills can be very useful in making a case for yourself when direct experience is lacking. Even better, transferable skills afford you the flexibility to ensure your applications are tailored to be as relevant as possible to the specific job. What are your transferable skills? It is worth your time to think it over. There are numerous resources, including categorized lists, worksheet, and questionnaires available online to help you identify them and they are well positioned in a skills section at the top of your resume. But writing your transferable skills on a resume is far easier than sharing them in an interview. Anyone who has had an interview is aware of the behavioral questions that begin with, tell me about a time when, or can you describe a situation where you had to? The interviewer is trying to imagine you in the role and how you would respond to the challenges you may face. It is here that you can really benefit from the power of your transferable skills. To help you better articulate your transferable skills in an interview, I recommend using the STAR method. The STAR method is a four-step storytelling process for effective interviews. S stands for situation, where you provide the context of the story you're telling. Detail the background, who, where, when. T is for task. It answers what needed to be done. Why did it need to be done? What were the expectations? A stands for action, where you explain what you actually did and how you did it. And R stands for result. And this is the most important because it allows you to end on a high note with a positive outcome that came out of it. Now, let's take a look at the STAR method in action. This is Hans. Let's say Hans recently received his bachelor's in history. He is interviewing for a job as a science journalist for a popular website. Hans is confident he can write to a popular audience, but he has never worked outside of the food industry, nor written anything outside of academia. But he does have a personal YouTube channel with dozens of videos he's made over the year. Before his interview, Hans determined one of his transferable skills was self-motivated, lifelong learner. Hello, Hans. Tell me about a time you had to overcome a challenge to achieve a goal. Several years ago, I was motivated to create a YouTube channel about the philosophy behind popular science fiction books and movies. I had no experience with video production, but I have always been driven by learning new things, and so I told everybody about my plan and dove right in. 
I knew the information was available online, so I took a free online course on using Adobe Premiere editing software. I researched how to legally use footage and how to manage a personal channel. As it turned out, creating these videos proved significantly more time consuming and challenging than I had imagined. And it took me over six months to produce my first videos. But the time spent paid off. And now more than my grandma watches my videos. This is Matilda. Let's say Matilda is interviewing to be a museum tour guide. Matilda has a bachelor's degree in physics and is currently completing her master's in sustainable development. Matilda has had a few research assistant jobs on campus, but they were more focused on data analysis. Despite having no official teaching experience, Matilda did volunteer to tutor students that were struggling in math and physics at her college. Before her interview, she identified one of her transferable skills to be able to adapt communication style and language to match the audience. Hello, Matilda. Can you please tell me about a time you changed someone's perspective on something? While I was earning my bachelor's degree in physics, I volunteered as a math and physics tutor because I loved helping students reach that aha moment. The problem I faced was that most students were terrified of math and they always wanted to find the shortcut to the answer. I would tie the problem to a larger story or a puzzle to be solved and would walk them through the problem as a story rather than a calculation. Ultimately, I helped dozens of students pass their math and physics courses, and a few of them even have become math majors. As you can see, articulating your transferable skills can allow you to take advantage of the things you've learned along the way and offer you greater flexibility and confidence in your job search. In fact, I could draw out some transferable skills just from the making of this video. I independently learned how to use this animation software, I collaboratively designed the video with feedback from the professors of the course, and I improved my ability to distill information. The skills are there, you just have to find the words for them. So that's all I have for you today. So moving forward, there are just two steps you should take. Step one, identify your transferable skills. Step two, bring them to life with the STAR method. Thank you very much and good luck.